Right, Nancy Pelosi thought she was in for a softball interview with 60 Minutes, perhaps, where she thought she could bash President Trump uninterrupted. But things didn't go her way after Pelosi got called out for delaying COVID relief for months. What about the COVID relief package yeah. that was held up for eight months? No, but that was their ob obstruction. I understand this. Well, wait. Yeah. But their obstruction. Yours, too. Their obstruction. No, yours yeah. too. Takes no, it wasn't obstruction. You no, held out for eight months. No, no, we held it up because there was no, no respect for our heroes. And she was criticized by her own party. This guy, I have his name here, Dana Prino, Bernie Sanders. He said, <laughs> we had a much better deal and I was stuck with $900 billion. How do you live on that? I thought it was a great interview. It's one of the reasons ever since I was a kid, I was afraid on Sunday nights. I didn't want to go outside and play in the backyard on Sundays because I was afraid I would miss 60 minutes. So my dad would set the <laughs> alarm on the stove so that I could hear it from outside and make it inside in time to watch 60 minutes. Um, look, she's got a, she doesn't have a good answer on that because there isn't a good answer on it. Uh, but she did make a political calculation. She thinks that it worked for her. However, the Democrats now are in a weak position. N granted, they just won the Senate seats, um, so they're in a much stronger position that way. But in the House, they're, they're weaker. Every Republican incumbent won re-election. Um, and plus, you know, the Republicans need something to rally around right now. The Democrats seem intent on giving them just what they need, whether it be yeah. nominees that they think are way too far to the left or ideas about increasing energy costs, raising taxes, things like that. Yep. Um, She's going to have a, a tougher time uh, than she has had in the last few years. She does not like being challenged. Case in point, that right-wing zealot, Wolf Blitzer, had the audacity to ask her a tough question. Listen. Even the members of your own caucus, Madam Speaker, uh, want to accept this deal. $1.8 trillion. Congressman Ro Khanna, yeah, yeah, for example. Minute. I don't know why you're always an apologist. And many of your colleagues... Apologist for the Republican position. Rokana, that's nice. That isn't what we're going to do, and nobody's waiting till February. I want this very much now because people need help now. Right. Hey, Dagan, Wolf Blitzer again caught being in that Republican position <laughs> guilty. She does not like being challenged. No, she doesn't. Was that the we feed them? We feed them interview when she said that to Wolf Blitzer. Was it him? It's hard to know. I wish more uh, more people in the media, including Leslie Stahl in 60 Minutes, that called Nancy Pelosi out on her holding up this aid before the election. That was her political calculation, as uh, Dana pointed out. But they left $1 trillion right. thereabouts on the table. But again, standing atop the suffering of others. It's a good look, Nancy. Good look. Juan, disappointed that she didn't do what Mitch, uh, Mitch uh, McConnell did and won against the president and said, it's time for us to come together. She, all she knows is politics. She has no idea how to come together on any type of compromise. Don't you agree? Well, look, I, I think that, we, you know, I, I've just been watching a different story than the rest of you, because to my mind, Nancy Pelosi and President Trump both wanted a $2,000 stimulus uh, check in the mailboxes. They both said this. They said they wanted to go big, and it was the Republicans in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, who would not bring it to a vote. I think that's the fact. I think that's what happened. Oh, that's a micro I mean, how point. do you say she doesn't compromise when you got 600 does the $600 bill, because she compromised, and it was President Trump who was slow to even sign that. But yes. I know you guys like right. to pick on Nancy Pelosi, right. but I don't think their history is as you've been telling it. Right. Uh, please don't put Dana and Dagan uh, in the same place as Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, how do you feel uh, as compared to Juan? Oh, I mean, I like watching Nancy Pelosi get a little prickly there. You know, she floundered at first, and she said, oh, no, sorry, Leslie, I didn't obstruct. And then she goes, oh, actually, I only obstructed because our heroes were being disrespected. Now, I have to give her credit. As a spinster myself, that is great spin. Our heroes have been disrespected. The actual truth was she just wanted a bailout fund for liberal mayors and, and governors who couldn't balance their books, and they need a little slush fund to help them get reelected. And then later, she said, oh, yeah, I obstructed because I didn't want to solidify injustice. Again, beautiful line. And Juan, watch out, because every time the Republicans obstruct this new Congress, 
I'm just going to say Juan. We can't expect the Republicans to want to solidify injustice. Right. And we'll see what you say. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I do wish on a serious note that there would be somebody who thought more about the country because we're in a terrible spot right now and will go out of their way to compromise even if it means they don't get reelected. I'm hoping someone absolutely. will have the courage to do that. I'm not sure they're on the roster.